Hello, Shane Dixon here reporting live from Portland, Oregon, here to tell you about some breaking SSD news. First of all, what is an SSD? SSD stands for Solid State Drive. That is a hard disk inside your computer used for storing data that can be used to boot Windows or maybe even run games or store your valuable files like pictures and movies. Well, what is the difference between a SSD drive and a typical hard drive? Well, let me tell you, it gets me so excited I can barely control myself. It's so exciting! It's much faster! Games are faster! You can load faster, more times in the levels. We're talking about Copying files is faster. You can get all your movies from your friends. You can get all your pictures from your grandma. All on a lickety split. What else can happen? Well, if you're a gamer, you can need to pay particular attention. I'm about to explain what I can do for you. All right, now that we got rid of him, and don't worry, we'll still show you what he has to show you. But first, I briefly want to discuss the main differences between a SSD and your typical hard drive. Obviously, we learned that they're faster. We got that before our newscaster got possessed by apparently Diablo himself. He was trying to explain to us the loading times in almost all applications are faster. Copying, moving, even transferring files between machines is faster, whether it be your pictures, home movies, or even backup files. In any case, many of you probably have or have not noticed that you're transferring files over a network. It's not the 100 megabyte per second that's causing the slow times, but rather the reading and writing to the drives that are actually slowing you down or the bottleneck in your network. All right, well, some of you may ask how your typical hard disk drive inside a system is a bottleneck. For that, I'm going to refer over to an article at Ars Technica by Lee Hutchinson titled Solid State Revolution In-Depth on How SSDs Really Work. In it, there's a brief table and they're talking about memory hierarchies and the access times. Um, your registers, you're talking about instantaneous access time. Your level 1 cache on your CPU, 1 to 3 nanoseconds. Level 2 cache, 3 to 10 nanoseconds. Level 3 cache is 10 to 20 nanoseconds. And your main memory ch um, sticks that you may put inside your system, you're looking at anywhere from 30 to 60 nanoseconds, depending on the chips. And your hard disk drives, look at this, all the way from 3 million to 10 million nanoseconds. Um, typical size being over a terabyte. But we're talking about the time that it takes for your computer to be able to access your hard drive and even be able to look at data. So that's where we're talking about speeding up access time, putting an SSD in your system and making everything faster. Other features of solid state drives that may be downplayed when you're comparing to that to the overcoming this bottleneck of speed in your system is the fact that solid state drives are made up of flash chips similar to those found in memory sticks. These are safer for transporting around your machine as there are no internal parts that can be damaged by jostling around, such as the disks or platters that you'll find in your typical hard disk drive. You drop one of those and you're pretty much your data is gone. The last thing I have to mention is how eco-friendly and green these drives are. SSDs have low power consumption, no noise compared to the whir, hiss, and even clunk of a failing typical hard disk drive. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get into some gaming mode and we'll show you exactly how fast these SSDs are. Thank <laughs> you. 